Now that we have um, our ant bait mixed up, we just have to apply it. It's really easy to do. Um, the main thing you want to keep in mind is these ants don't necessarily smell the bait, so they're not going to smell that I'm putting something out there and they're going to search for it. Uh, what they do is they send out thousands and thousands of workers and they kind of blindly wander around until they find something that tastes good and then they'll share that information with everybody. Uh, so my idea is I want to get lots of little speckles of this, of this bait um, over a bunch of different surfaces so increase the chance of them finding that bait and then taking it back. Basically, so kind of like what I mentioned, I want lots of little droplets um, everywhere. Um, it is oil based, so I'm avoiding spraying like the upper portion of the rock wall because it will, it, there's a potential it would leave a stain on it. Um, for trees like this, uh, my main areas I want to get is the trunk and any of the upper branches. Um, this is a really huge um, palm tree, so I'm just going to get as high as I can go, which this spray bottle gets pretty far up there. So that's essentially enough for that uh, one tree. You don't need a whole lot. Kind of the same idea for the tea leaves. I mostly want to get it up um, on the trunks and everything, maybe a few inside of the crown areas, because this is where the, the queens will be making their nest, is under the moss um, in these areas. They're not so much out in here. So my main focus is where the queens and the workers are going to be wandering across. So you can kind of see there's like, this was just like a couple sprays, but there's like lots of little droplets on like the one surface of the leaf. That's what we want. Uh, we don't want any like huge blobs that we're, we're looking for, like little speckles um, over the surface. And I, yeah, I'm not really putting a whole lot of bait because this, uh, this one bottle will actually cover about a quarter acre. Yeah, for, for, for like a little bigger tree that's not a palm tree, um, the treatment method doesn't really change. I want to get some on the trunk and up along the, the bigger branches. If you miss, that's okay. Then it just goes into the grass and then we're treating the grass too. I'm mainly focusing on you can saw like the kind of this like heavily vegetated area and the trees, uh, not so much on the open grass like this. Um, kind of sa same idea with the tree. I'm trying to get the bait where most the ants will most likely will be, which is they'll be nesting in areas like this and maybe just foraging in the grass. So higher chances of them being in here versus the grass. So I'm putting most of my bait um, into the bushes and onto the trees. So when treating like a places like this where it's mostly bushes pretty throughout. Um, rather than wandering through the bushes, getting stung by ants, you can treat from where you're comfortable, so it's like at the edge of the bush, and you're kind of just going to treat this way. Same idea as last time, lots of little speckles, and as far as, as, far as the bottle will spray. So it'll be, besides the gel bait, the other option is the granular bait. Um, these are all, there's a bunch of different brands, but they're all more or less the same, where it's uh, corn grit, soak in um, oil, and then also with the insecticide. Uh, so this is very easy to apply. So unlike the gel bait, of course, I can't get it up into the tree. But all you would need to do is take like a little handful or you can get a, a seed spreader and just kind of apply it this way, like very lightly. Um, this goes very far. This is about two and a half pounds, so it'll cover an acre's worth. Uh, it changes depending on the, uh, the, type of pes the, the type of pesticide you're using. Uh, kind of same idea. Uh, you want the little granulars all over the place. And I kind of like to pretend that I'm feeding chickens. If you do have um, ants coming into your house, um, you can apply this along the edges so you can sprinkle it along the border. Um, if you're having problems with ants inside, like they're coming to your bathroom, into your kitchen, you can actually take these granulars and put it in a little container and have bait stations inside the house. And then when you leave it out there for a day or two and then you take the bait away after that.